Hi, I'm Campbell Perkinson with New Filmmakers Los Angeles. In partnership with Movie Maker Magazine, we bring you another night of Stage 5 interviews. We have a great lineup. Hope you'll enjoy it. Let's see a clip. Deliver the pizza. I never planned for it to be like this. Some mistakes you can never take back. A near-death experience can make you realize that life's a gift that can be taken at any time. Listen, you're not gonna believe this. Our lives are about to change. I open the door, I see dead bodies, a bag of drugs, and a bag of money. I took the money. I loved your film, but for the audience at home, do you mind telling us a little bit about your film? Sure. Uh, Full Circle is a feature film set in Bushwick, Brooklyn, about a young pizza delivery boy who seeks revenge on a local neurotic thug when his best friend's killed in a case of mistaken identity. What was the inspiration for the film? Uh, music, you know, m yeah, music inspired the film. Um, I was sent four different beats, and uh, they made me feel, you know, four different emotions, and uh, I wanted to make four music videos first and tie them in narratively. And uh, so I wrote a short film first, and um, he did all of the artwork for it and made- Storyboarding. Storyboarded it and, and uh, you know, did the poster for it, and I was able to, with that uh, art, and that you know, short film and music, I started to shop that around, and uh, everybody just said to make it a feature, you know, because that's what what it should be. Because it was a long short; I think it was like 40 pages. I wrote or something like that. So I wrote some more pages and I made it a feature. Were you sideswiped by any unforeseen obstacles that you weren't prepared for? Left and right, right? There's a lot. You know, there's a lot of those when you're independent filmmaking when you don't have a budget. Uh, we had a lot of issues actually. Three days before our shoot date, our, our first shoot date, we had the DP that originally was uh, set up for the film, the DP, the key grip, and the gaffer drop out. Three days before, so we had to, you know, hustling. We ended up getting the DP that was even better. And uh, now, you know, we, I work with him to this day, and we shot that, you know, that was two years ago, almost two years ago. So it's a blessing in disguise sometimes, you know. You working on anything currently? I got another feature script ready to go. Um, I got actually two feature scripts ready to go and uh, some music videos as well. Um, you know, the soundtrack to the film, we, we, we do a live music show with that to follow up the, the, you know, the momentum and the hype of the movie because the movie is, a, you know, a lot of it is music based. So all of the original music now is being performed live by the artists themselves. And, uh, you know, so we got a lot of things moving. So you got any advice for all those other new up-and-coming filmmakers out there? Yeah, I mean, the advice that I would give to them is to just do it, you know. Uh, I think the biggest, uh, you know, problem that independent filmmakers have is, is money, raising the money, and that can hinder and, and slow and just, you know, halt your, your, the whole process. And um, that's what I would say. i say just do it with, with what you have because Sometimes you can wait and wait and wait for the funding and it'll just never come and then your project will just never go anywhere rather than if you do it all that time passing, you can be in festivals, you can be doing interviews with new filmmakers in LA, you can be, you know, the, it's, it's limitless. So I would just say to just, just go and do it, you know, with whatever funds that you have. Right. Stop procrastinating, just do it. That's, I mean, that's advice for life. I mean, anything in life, you know, just, Instead of waiting around, saying that someday we're going to do something, just do it. 